Hello, my name is Roy Honekin, Energy Advisor with Simple Savings. Attic pull downstairs can be a major energy waster in your home by allowing hot and cold air in. It can actually reduce the effectiveness of your insulation by up to 30%. With a little materials, a few tools, a little bit of time, we can fix that. We're going to build a cover box for the stairs. We'll need a sheet of one inch foam board, full tape, straight edge, measuring tape, utility knife, and some weather stripping. Okay, the work starts in the attic. We're going to build our box to rest on top of this frame, so the first step would be to take some measurements. To open this 53 and a half by 25 and a half. We know the opening is square, so we don't have to measure the other two sides. So let's go ahead and head down to the workshop and get started. To build our box, I chose one inch foam board for two reasons. One is for higher R value, and secondly, if you use half inch, you have to add bracing. I've already pre-cut the sides nine and a half inches tall to allow for the stairs to go up inside of the box. So let's go ahead and cut an end piece. I pre-measured nine and a half inches. Using a straight edge to run your knife against, just simply pull your knife down the straight edge, and make your cut. Now that we have all of our pieces pre-cut, the next step is taping them together. Using full face tape, simply tear one piece off the length of the side. Start the edge, but don't pull it all the way back. You want to allow about a half inch overlap on the side. Straighten it out on the side, get the paper and pull the paper and it will stick itself as you go. Next, line your side up with your top, be sure the end is flush, stick the tape down, make sure it adheres good and repeat this step for the other three sides. Now that we've assembled our box, I've already reinforced the four sides with tape. So the next step is to reinforce the top. Simply tear a piece of tape to length as we did on the sides. Line it up. Pull the tape off. And smooth it out. Once we completed all four sides of the top, We'll be ready to go back upstairs and install our box. Now that our box is assembled, we have to consider air sealing. There's two options. First option is what we chose by putting weather stripping on top of the frame that the box will rest on, instead of putting weather stripping on the bottom to seal the door. The final step is simply dropping the box into place. That's about all there is to it. Now we should see a reduction in our energy bills and increased comfort in our home. For more money-saving energy tips, go to simplesavings.coop or to the website of your local Kentucky Touchstone Energy Cooperative.